This video looks at how you can import your search results using the RIS export utility. If you click on the import references icon to open the add source window, you can see what import filters are available. Although Web Reviewer 4 has a limited number of import filters, you have access to hundreds of import filters that were created for Epi Reviewer 3. The file of search results we want to import is from the Embase database. There isn't a filter in Epi Reviewer for this, so we will need to use the export utility. The export utility is found in the Epi Reviewer 4 gateway, so let's go there. The web address for the gateway is shown on the screen. The RIS export utility will take your search results and convert them into an RIS formatted file. The RIS formatted file can then be imported into Epi Reviewer 4 using the RIS filter. On the gateway, go to RIS export in the main menu. There are three steps in the process. The first thing to do is to upload your search result file into the utility. Click on Browse to locate your file and then click to upload. The second step is to pick a filter based on the data in the file. Selecting a filter based on the database the information came from is not always the most reliable method. Quite often you can access the same database through different portals and each portal will present the search results in a different format. The most reliable method is to pick the filter based on the information in the file. If you are not sure whether the search results are in a format that can be imported, you can have a look at the information in the Choosing a Filter panel on the right. If you click here, there is further guidance on saving search results and editing your search results to help with their importing. In most cases, each reference in the file will have a unique start tag and end tag. If we look at the file in the text editor, we can identify those tags. In this case, it appears that the start tag of each reference is A, N, space. Be sure to check a number of references to be sure this is the correct start tag. Now try to find the start tag in the start tag drop down menu. In the list, a space is represented by a dot, so it looks like we have an A N space start tag available. Now have a look at your file to identify an end tag. It looks like A T space is the end tag. Again, be sure to check a number of references to, to see if this really is the end tag. It is quite common for search results to be missing end tags on some references. So let's select that. At this point, a number of possible filters will be presented that meet your start and end tag requirements. You can try to narrow down the number of filters by also picking the publication tag and the source tag. If we look at our file, we can see that the publication tag is PT space and the source tag is SO space. We can select those two tags as well. Our choice of filters both have the Embase name assigned to them, so there is a good chance we might have the correct filter available. As I mentioned earlier, you cannot always rely on the name of the filter, so you can try filters with names that don't match. Now that we have narrowed down the number of filters, let's try the first filter by clicking on Select. It shows that 150 references were identified in our file. You should now examine the results by clicking on View References to be sure it was a clean import. A file can be imported but still have some of its data in the wrong field, so it is always important to check it. Be sure to check the author, title, date, and abstract fields, as these fields are very important for screening purposes. This reference looks fine, but be sure to check a few of them to be confident that the filter was a good match. Once you are confident the filter was the correct one, we can move to the third step which is converting the search results into an RAS format of file. This is done by clicking on the export button. You should then save the file. It is a good idea to give it an RES extension so you can be easily identified later. Now let's go back to App Reviewer and import that file. Be sure you have selected the RES import filter, then locate the file you just created. You can preview the imported items before uploading them into your review. If you want to see the imported items, close the Add Source window, click on the Sources tab, and list the source you just created. The items will be listed in the Documents tab, where you can go into the individual items to have a look at them. For more information about Epi Reviewer 4, please see our other videos or go to the Epi Reviewer 4 Gateway. The web address is shown on the screen.